So to remind you, standard form looks like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay, let's get to work. Step one, separate your x's and your y's and move that number to the other side of the equation. So that looks like this, great. And you'll notice, I leave some spaces after my x and some spaces after my y because step two is complete the square. So I wanna leave some space to fill in there. All right, if you don't remember how to complete the square, click on this video, it will give you a quick reminding. But if you do remember how to complete the square, then you know we take this coefficient four, divide it in half and square it. Four divided by two is two, squared is four. And whatever we add to this side, we add to this side because we have to keep our equation balanced. Negative eight in half is negative four, squared is positive 16. And whatever we add to this side, we add to this side. All right, next step. We wanna take this perfect square we created and write it in that form. So that looks like this. And now we do the same with our y equation. We created a perfect square. And by the way, just to be clear, we have not changed anything here. We just wrote it in a different form, same thing. If we were to FOIL these two out, this one equals this and this one equals that. If you're not sure, try it. And now we're gonna consolidate our numbers over here. And now we have our circle converted from general form to standard form. And what standard form tells us is we have a center of h comma k, so a center of negative two comma four. Okay, notice x plus two, but my formula says x minus h. So if h is negative two, then x minus minus h is what gets us our x plus h. And then same thing, y minus k, y minus four, four is our k. And finally, don't forget that this number is r squared, so that means our radius is the square root. And these two bits right here are why we bother converting from general form to standard form. Okay, play this video again. Check out some of these other videos to help you keep working with conic sections. And consider subscribing to my channel so that you can see when I put out a new video.